Next news is out of India. So I wish you had Zoom in with us. India tightens oh, yeah. Kashmir lockdown over Muslim processions. Uh, so, okay, Kashmir is a place between Pakistan and India um, that has its, its majority Muslim country that is uh, uh, still on clampdown by by you know India's law, kind of. So no, so, uh, no, no, no. So there's parts of it that is claimed by, uh, that is um, under India's part of it that is part, um, you know by Pakistan, Pakistan, Ch China as well. But let's forget about that for now. Uh, but but this is the in this is the part of Kashmir that was held by India. But go on. Yes, anyway. yes. This is the part that that's held by India law right now. There's a clamp down um, on on that part that is banning uh, processions by Muslims uh, during the, the first month of the Islamic calendar, which is Muharram. Is that the right way to Muharram, say it? Muharram, yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, so, you know, the, the Shia Muslims uh, decided they were going to do a lot of protests out there. And even though uh, it's banned in their area right now, uh, they started... Uh, holding rallies and and processions out there while they were uh, severely severely beaten by police, um, this, it's kind of going out of control over there right now. And it's not just the Shia Muslims um, either. Uh, people from all all religions are actually coming together to try to help them uh, and be on their side. So it's uh, it's right now a fight between Muslims and and the law. Um, yeah, I mean, so so let's just give some context to people. The, this whole, I mean, I don't, I don't because this could, this could be a one hour discussion of its own. But let me see if I could do a fast a summary version of it. So this is a uh, this is a part of in, in in this was part of India, but it all, it, they they were autonomous. But it was as India's constitution that they were going to be autonomous, and at some point, the the in, uh, the Indian parts of Kashmir. At some point, India had promised in the constitution that they would vote and they would decide whether they want to join Pakistan or whether they want to stay with India or whether they would want to become their own independent state. And probably, if they were ever get a chance to vote, probably they would go with that third option. But they never given a chance to vote. Uh, because India knows that if they do get a chance to vote, they're going to lose Kashmir altogether because it's mostly Muslim, right? They don't want to be part of India. Um, so for many years, they have been trying to fight for their rights, try to get full and, you know, get that vote at some point. But now the Modi uh, guy came and he changed the constitution without any uh, vote or any uh, discussion or anything. He just removed, removed that part uh, from the constitution. And now they're not autonomous anymore. And now Indians from India could go to Kashmir and buy land there. And the whole point of this is to change the demographic of, the, um, of Kashmir the Indian part of Kashmir, so it's mostly Hindu. So even if they do vote, the whole demographic changes from Muslim to Hindu. So this is like a massive push for changing demographics. But as soon as they did that, they put they put the whole place on lockdown. Uh, nobody gets to, uh, you know, there is complete blackout of news. The, the politicians there are under arrest. Nobody could go report on it. Everyone's rights are being taken away. No right to assembly. No right to free speech. It's, 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 a, it's a disaster. Like, it's a human rights violation. And people are, a lot of people are supporting India because, you know, it's, especially, it's really easy for people on our side. Everything, every time something happens against Muslims, they keep cheering it on. And these are people that don't understand that, you know, human rights violations are human rights violations. And we need to, you know, this is, this is absolutely, a, you know, the way, you know, people are so biased. People on our side are so biased, right? We're anti-Islam, but we recognize that this is a human rights violation. And this is a religious, um, you know, crackdown as well. This is a... And, and this is not racial because they, Indians and Pakistanis and Kesh, people from Kashmir, uh, they have the same ethnic diversity on average all, all around that area, right? So this is a, an attempt to change the religious demographic of a nation by force, right? And right. it needs to be called that. And it's, uh, it's interesting that the two countries right now that are the most anti-Muslim, not anti-Islam, but anti-Muslim and are discriminating against Muslims on such a 
massive scale are China and India, right? And because these countries are tomorrow superpowers and nobody talks, you know, other countries don't take that much positions against them, right? I mean, if this was Trump or some other, you know, majority white country, the whole world would be speaking against it. But because these, because they're not, not Muslims are not, Muslims do talk about it in Pakistan, but Muslims outside of Pakistan don't talk about it that much because they're not, anyways, but this is, this is disaster and I don't know what to do. Um, I, d I was looking at bringing somebody from Kashmir on the show. I'm looking into that, no promises. She was saying, I'm very proud of the seat. This is exactly what I was saying. This is our Atheist Republic community. The top comment is saying, I am very proud of this. And I bet you Shiv is from India. Um, let me see, where are you from, Shiv? I bet you you're from India. Second top comment, Aradhya Arad is saying, I'm truly ashamed. Oh, okay. This is a, another comment, I think, also from India. Is this from India? Not sure. Um, yeah, probably. For, I'm not going to load that. It's not going to load it. So, so second comment was, I'm ashamed. And so, third comment saying, admin recently have been floating misleading articles. Oh, come on. This is what, this is interesting. This is what people <laughs> in India do whenever, this is the most common tactic whenever they don't like a, a, the news is fake news, right? Uh, every get, time. Every time. Every freaking time. Uh, fourth top comment I think is also from area uh, from India saying very sensitive matter matter may convert make okay may, uh, this bad English but he's basically saying that this could lead to war atheists are under attack in many places if they were Christians their voices would be heard if they were Jews their voices would be heard if they were Muslims their voices would be heard but they are atheists and not many seem to be listening let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.